um, their dividends to 10% to comply, and they agreed. And but basically, we are getting there, and we'll be, as we'll be seeing, even the sh that money that is in institutional capital is starting to start is starting to work to work for, for our benefit. Members' deposits. Um, we have grown from 6.6 .6 to 7.3 on member deposits alone, but on the faucet deposits, we have grown from um, 485 or 86 million to, uh, I mean, we have moved from 485 down to 464. Now, this is because the FOSA is your current account. So you are allowed to put money in it and allowed to withdraw any time. But I'll give some advice or yeah, some clarification that when you hold the money in the FOSA there, it pays you higher interest rates. It's a current account that it's a current account, yeah? Fee savings account. Savings account that gives you, but operate like a current account because you can withdraw money as many times. Good. Uh, you can, you get a higher rate on the deposits there than you get in the bank. And all of us really appreciate that. Um, so basically, if you can, put your money there. And something else we need to, uh, we were talking this with the SASO report the other day and the Commission of Cooperatives, that we are looking forward to a time when this being 10 billion business, that your 10 million in the circle should be recognized by every embassy and everybody else, so that when you go for a visa, really you should not be forced to bring your, I will not mention names because we are competing, a statement where I only keep 50,000 or 100,000, but my savings and my monies and deposits are in the circle. And I really look forward to that recognition. But we try our best to put that recognition and discussions are there. SASRA, IRA, CMA, with the central bank governor in it, so that we, we, we are big enough. In the United States, like uh, our colleagues across, they are recognized because they do a, little, a, bit, a few things like a bank. We, we need that recognition and I think uh, the board has done its best. I can assure you we have actually spoken with a parliamentary committee on cooperatives on some of these things. Or now we can even have um, us included in the national payments. Now, with the discussion have started and uh, someday when things happen you know that they emanated from your own circle and that day you will clap for yourself. Don't take away the credit from yourselves. Lapin, central bank governor who you try. Um, on page, on the member deposits, uh, the total is 7.8 billion. That is, the deposits in the back office, 7 point, and the deposits in the FOSA, 7.8, and that is note number 15. Note number 16 is provision all for interest on member deposits. Wow, this is probably the best line, right? We are proposing that in as much as in 2014, uh, from the operations of 2014, 556 million was booked into the provision to pay member deposits, and it found in that pot a provision from the previous year, which was close to about 70 million, to the extent that we paid 663 million. We presented a budget uh, which projected to pay you 706 million. We are asking you to allow us to exceed that budget line from the uh, budgeted 706 million because Oala will be coming to you with that so that we can pay you an extra 100 million. And we'll be showing you where the extra 100 million is coming from. Management, of course, and it will, I think that, that that projection is already starting to say how much in operations was spent to generate how much even compared with the previous year so that we can have now the pool from which we determine the rate to pay you as interest and then because of the IFRS it has to come as a finance uh, cost as you as you appreciate we are paying you now we did not pay before but a lot of it was to look at um, all income leakages and close them and some of them very painful we found a little bit um, yeah they are closed and we are some of the emails I saw uh, is because some people are affected in unethical doing things, but um, gladly everything is closed. Whatever has remained is not as come to our knowledge. And once we find it, we'll close all income leakages so that all the money can come back to the members. Uh, so we'll be requesting you not to say we pay 10. We had the budget was 10. We will be requesting you to pay something extra. The board of directors recommends payment on interest on deposits at 11.5%. So. The, the retaining last year is now starting to work for us. We pray that we will be able to control costs so that we can continue moving back 12, 12.5 like that, to the extent that we also have money 
that we can give you as, um, as loans. Um, are payables, and we will be, of course, these are payables, and of course the middle line there is honoraria, which at this point we would like to, of course, it is it, uh, note number 19, will be looked at again with note number 25, but on honoraria, I can, I can make the comment here, that in 2013, when we came here, some honoraria was uh, proposed, and the annual general meeting asked, what is the basis? Uh, no clear basis was given. And while I was still a member, I was a very big advocate of give us a basis, because once there is a basis, it can be audited as to whether you followed that. And of course, um, uh, the annual general meeting said, go and develop a basis, which is performance-based. So the board looked at um, what other guys are doing, and uh, particularly with Malimu, that time, they are in, tw in 2014, they were paying about 30 million in honoraria, which represented about 0.7% of the total revenue generated. And for this reason, we, in 2013, the policy was, and we met the provision at 0.5% of the total revenue, because, of you, because when you don't make the money, how do we know you are performing? And in last year, 2014, um, a figure was brought and it was approved because it was within the policy. And in 2015, we'd like to confirm that the same same policy has been applied to the extent that the 7.46 million proposed for honoraria is 0.5% of the total money. And what that means is if you don't make the money, you don't get anything. So if you want the money, make the money, right? And how do you make the money for every good accountant is that top line, uh, even if to may pass budget, tafadhali you can exceed revenues. Uh, costs, you can never exceed. Even the law says you cannot exceed any cost beyond what is approved for the budget. So for the governance, that's something you need to check whether any cost, uh, any um, operating costs have been exceeded. And that one you, you can question. And every, Everything exceeded, of course, it is a travail. It's, it's not supposed to have been like that, and you can question it. Uh, so we'll be requesting you not, I mean, I mean, not to, I mean, to look at it and to check, and if anybody does a calculator to confirm whether it is consistent. Uh, but we must make mention that um, in as much as 2014, the provision was um, 5 million. When you read together with the line on honoraria, which is paid to both supervisory committee and the board, the 12 of us, um, there was a balance that had been booked in in the previous year, in 2013. So in, 20, um, in 2014, it, we booked 4.6, right? So that, uh, I mean, we, we understand that if it's a provision, for it, 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 you, the port, you should be paying five million. If the port already had one million, you can only add four million to make it five million, right? So that it is uh, consistent. Um, so again, that will come. On, um, I would be glad to answer any question on other payables, but um, trade payables, Well, that is, in 2015, a total of 22 million was paid back by CIC from the loan guard, and because that was the amount that was claimed, <coughs> amount that had been held by the members who went. Um, so basically, as you can look, uh, as you see, if you compare the note in 24 on uh, actually, the total amount was, yeah, that, that 22, uh, around 20, 20.6 million, but we got a value of 22 million. We do not know when whatever else can happen, and the reason I said a little bit emotion because part of that were two colleagues. From my office. Anyway. 